So this was the second time after I'd had that tooth filling in 2006 that my dental records were just not being provided to me at all. And when I made another request for my dental records, it was never fulfilled. So I never saw records. The first time that I saw any indication of any kind of filling at all has been in the last couple of months when I finally looked at my CTs, which show, you know, some something about what was done to my teeth. So this um, filling that was done has something inside of it that um, it's like a some kind of a metal filling, but there is literally something inside of the filling that moves. Um, I think most of us know that fillings, metal fillings, should not be moving at all, under any circumstances, right? So you should not, most people would not um, put their finger on their tooth, inside of their mouth, and on top of their tooth, and most people would not feel a vibrating feeling coming from that filling because fillings on teeth, normal fillings, shouldn't be vibrating. You know, buzzing, basically. Not making a sound, but basically um, I could compare it to, you know, you have a laptop and when your laptop is running very hard and it's humming and sometimes you can feel sort of a vibration on the laptop, you put your hand on top of it and you can you know, because of the um, energy or electrical current, you know, to power your laptop. Sometimes you can feel that, right? It's like that, but enhanced a couple of times too, maybe. So, it's something palpable that you can feel. It's as tangible as touching a laptop or a computer that's on and feeling like some kind of electricity going through the machine, which is normal for a, a computer, right? Well, it's not normal for a filling to be vibrating like that, and vibrating more than a laptop does. It's also not normal for a metal filling to be surging. Basically, sometimes they will be torturing me, and it's activated to where it's just vibrating steady, steadily. Other times, it will be a surging feeling, and I can feel it pulsing, and then going down, and then pulsing out, and then going down, in my filling, or whatever the, the tooth actually will be, will move. I can feel it move. So, um, this is absolutely, I mean, obviously, I hope I hope it makes sense to you that I am in my right mind, and if somebody in their right mind is describing something like this, there's something very abnormal and unusual about it. So, it has really been the prerogative of the FBI and military and um, my enemies to try to say that I'm not in my right mind so that nobody believes me. But, um, I am in my right mind, and I have always been, I have been severely tortured, and I have re reacted to extreme levels of torture, and tried to describe what is going on, which sounds crazy, because it really is crazy that the United States has done this to me, and the United States has done this to me. It's state-sponsored, and for the longest time I thought that it, that's not possible. that they've done. You still do not want to believe that your own country does this to you.
different times when I think somebody has thought that I realized what was going on and, and that I knew something before I really did. Um, I've been subjected to assassination attempt, attempts where they've just tried to kill me. And I guess that could have been a good solution for some people at different times because if I died, they could have just whisked me away somewhere and nobody would have ever found any of the evidence. And I certainly wasn't talking about it because I didn't really know what was going on. Um, excuse me just a moment. So the, um, I'm finished talking about some of the torture again to the side of my face because it's been, they've done this to me all day today. And it's not uncommon because this is what this country has done been doing to me for almost every day for years now. It has been like living in a concentration camp. Um. The other area that they have targeted when they do this form of torture is, um, I already talked about how something reads here underneath my neck, and then right here, I'm going to show you approximately, let's see if I can find the spot. Right about here. There's a concave, kind of a um, rounded out area on the side of my neck. This is on my left side. So, basically, this is the front of my neck right here. And you know, you can press and fill different areas. And then there's the side here. I push over this direction, and there's nothing concave on that si on this side on the right. I mean, nothing that's sort of semi-circular circular that goes in like this in the bone structure or some sort of metallic structure. On the left side, that's not the case. There's something that sort of goes in here, and there's a groove of some kind, and then I can press on that area and feel some knobby things and some sort of fibrous things, and it's up against uh, a hard area of either bone or metal, and it's extremely sensitive to the touch and also has a feeling of um, I don't know how to describe it. It has a feeling of like a very, very sore feeling, like something is has been turned on for a really long time, and a, um, if I sometimes press on it really hard, it stops what is happening um, to my ear. And I am seeing some sort of a um, shape on the screen right now, so I think the battery will be getting low. And going to have to erase something on this and make sure that this is still recording. So, oh, well, well, just a moment.